Hey guys, Mars again here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so yesterday there was a data download on Global, and uh, at first glance, some of it was just adding in a bunch of stuff that we already knew about because of the data download on JP. Shout out to my boy Proton, who always posts all of the uh, data download stuff. Make sure you check him out. Um, this is stuff that we'd seen on uh, the JP stuff, right? Especially the main parts being the Shen uh, chain battle that we already knew was coming. Um, man, I've <laughs> if you've seen the list of the units that are going to be effective in that chain battle, that is going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, this is going to be one of those ones where the highest scores are not going to be anywhere near as high as we're used to seeing, I think, because the selection of units is very random. But anyway, it included a bunch of stuff for Goku Day, or as it's often now referred to in Dokkan, Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day, because we get a bunch of content spread out around the same time. Obviously, May 9th is Goku Day, uh, because 5-9. Uh, Gohan is 5-8, and then, of course, Go-10, 5-10. So those three days have kind of collectively now become known as... Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day across like the couple of days we randomly get stuff to come out. Uh, so you can see here there is a sticker. We've already had these in the game before, but a sticker that can only be applied to a Gohan, Goku, or Goten unit. I mean, some units have pretty decent stickers, but they're not, you know, the be all and end all. Um, however, there is an interesting thing here that shows some of the content that is going to be dropping uh, because we have the Goku, Gohan, Goten Day special missions. And this shows us the return of a couple of events. So if we take a zoomed out view here. So there's some typical ones. Uh, it's going to be obviously its own set of missions. You know the way the mission tab is laid out now. This is just going to have its own section. Um, so we get very typical ones for like clearing stages, getting a certain amount of zenny, picking up a certain amount of orbs, using Goku family characters, uh, use an item and clear a stage, beat an item within a certain time, level up a link skill. Ones like that can be really easy, like even if you're someone who's link leveled a ton of units, you just take any random like older unit that you've never link leveled, throw them on your team and do a run of the link level stage, whichever one you prefer to use, and you probably will get five links uh, as long as there are five fights you probably will get five level ones go up right so very easy to do deal a bunch of damage use super attacks etc but the thing that is interesting is we have the at the top you can see the clear stronger than ever super training of goku family once and then we have further down uh, the clear stronger than ever oh no that's the same one <laughs> where's the one i'm looking for the Clear full stamina Saiyan gluttons five times. There you go. It's around the middle. It's under the Goku family one. So these are two events that have been in the game before. Um, as far as I know, I can't remember how many times they have returned. I think this one has been in the game more than once. But this is the uh, Saiyan gluttons one. So this is a very basic one. There are three paths to go down. You either fight Goten and Trunks, Gohan or Goku. By defeating them, you get a bunch of random training items. If this is actually correct, I don't know if this is random, but this the way the wiki is laid out, it seems to show that Goku drops the turtle shells, which are the best ones. So I don't see any reason why you would never, like you would fight anyone other than Goku. But you get the training items for beating the stage, which doesn't seem like a great reward. However, there are missions for the number of times you beat the stage, gives you a bunch of the meat items. Meat items are always super useful because it's just free stamina. So if you're somebody who link levels a lot or you're farming up like free to play units or even free to play currency. Like for example, those three old Dragon Ball Saga story events are back on at the moment where you can farm up the blood rubies, the blue gems and like the, is it Ran Ran? Like dolls. And all of those have uh, three Kais that you can trade in for. So if you farm up all of those free materials you can get nine elder kais definitely useful for newer players or people who are just low on kais um, and having extra stamina for free to be able to do that is obviously very useful so this event coming back is pretty cool and then the more interesting one for me to see how they sort of if at all revamp this event is this one so this is the stronger than ever super training of goku's family so when this came around before you had to get keys that were given out during the course of the celebration and then you access this event through portal of memories kind of like the kai link level stage is now right you go in there and you pick it from there using these keys uh you go in you fight uh goku gohan or goten 
And then the missions for clearing the stage gave us uh, skill orbs that could only be equipped to a Goku, a Gohan, or a Goten. I mean, unfortunately, these ones were level 4 super attack up. So this is where I'm kind of hoping that this will get revamped. Uh, you got a couple of stones for doing all of the attempts as well. But this is something that obviously we would hope that they fix, right? Because now with how good some of the skill orbs in the game are, I, like I don't think any of my top tier premium units, I would never give them a silver level 4 super attack up, right? You want to be giving them additional crit, dodge, whatever, depending on the particular character in question so level four silver skill orb not really the most valuable skill orb to be getting um and we also had to have uh, to do each of the stages you had to have the um family come out of my heart the super old tur's however we do get those free tickets i think they're called the book of war that lets you exchange for copies of these guys in the barber shop um, if you have them all rainbowed, I can't remember if it's one of those currencies that will allow you to trade for like a Kai or something as well, if you already have all three of these guys rainbowed. I think, did they add some extra options last time as well, now that I think about it? So, the Book of War ticket, I think you can get some extra units. Hopefully they'll update that again this time, so there's some newer units to get. Um, but definitely an interesting event. If they revamp these skill orbs, and well, I say revamp, just give you better skill orbs, right, as the rewards, I feel like this could be a really, really good addition uh, to, uh, you know, the game, giving us some of this stuff for free. So, in terms of other new stuff, what new stuff will we see for Goku Day, or Goku Gohan Goten Day mini celebration, I guess? There's a couple of different things, right, but obviously the key is that it always revolves around whether it's all three or just Goku or just Goku family in general, right? Because if we take a look at last year, we were in the middle of, obviously, Golden Week from last year, which was the Cell Saga. Um, but you can see as we got to the 9th of May, which is Goku Day, uh, we got the EZAs for these three free-to-play Goku family units who are all from... The Boo Saga, because obviously, I mean, Goten doesn't even exist in the Cell Saga, right? So these three units, you can see here's where the Part 2 Golden Week LR came out of the Goku and Gohan. Um, so, like, these three EZAs dropping at this time, like, has nothing to do with the celebration that was going on at the time. But it is Goku, Gohan, and Goten. Um, so they, uh, obviously, uh, it doesn't seem like anything that crazy. I know the timeline for, um, the timeline on... Uh, the wiki isn't the best. I probably should have just brought up the actual celebration info if they have it. Let's have a look. So all campaigns global uh, for last year. Let's see if we can find the May one. Yeah, Goku, Gohan and Goten Day. So let's have a look what we actually got last year. So we got the Book of Wars and there was a wallpaper. Uh, obviously login bonuses, special missions, which you've already seen. The Book of War at the Barbershop. Uh, Extreme Z, which you already saw new titles, a bunch of events returned, those two events, and that was pretty much it, right? So nothing like super crazy, no new summonable events or anything like that, just some free-to-play EZAs, some missions for some extra rewards, free stamina, free skill orbs. It's not the craziest mini celebration, but you do get some pretty cool stuff out of it. The year before that, uh, this is when they dropped the GT uh, Legendary Goku event, uh, we were getting some GT stuff around that time anyway, right? Because Golden Week was the GT Super Saiyans, and then we got the EZAs for the Super Saiyan 4s not long afterwards. So this one, the celebration stuff did kind of fit in with the theme of the celebration, whereas the year before, as we already showed with Cell Saga to Boo Saga, they weren't really related at all. And the reason why I bring that up is because a lot of people think that we are going to potentially see something related to either the 23rd World Tournament or Piccolo or something like that. Because even though it is called Goku Day on May the 9th, there is this classic panel that people keep posting from OG Dragon Ball where Demon King Piccolo pre pretty much succeeds in taking over the world. Obviously not completely because, you know, Goku ends up putting a stop to him but this famous image gets shared on twitter around all the time right every may 9th will be celebrated as piccolo day so 
May 9th is officially Goku Day uh, in Japan, in all of these games and stuff like that. But because we're in the middle of an OG Dragon Ball Saga themed celebration, which very heavily features Piccolo, right? We got Piccolo Jr. We got an easy A for physical Piccolo. It would be kind of cool if just for this year only because it fits the theme. They kind of revamped the celebration so it was Piccolo Day. Obviously with the data from the data download, we know that it's called... Goku, Gohan, and Gotenday still. But one of the things I think would be very cool to mirror the release of the um, GT Legendary Goku event would be if they were to release a Legendary uh, Piccolo event, right? We've been waiting a very, very long time for them to release another one of these Fighting Legend events. Um, now, obviously, these events, when they first come out, like the GT Goku event, I remember being quite difficult. People were quite surprised, especially when you got to the Golden Ozaru, just how hard he could hit you. Um, and then, obviously, the enemies in the final phase of these legendary events have pretty much always uh, disabled your character's ability to dodge, as well as having the ability to dodge themselves. Um, I think a Piccolo version of this would be really cool. We have multiple forms of Piccolo in the game now. Um, but the thing is, they don't even necessarily have to be differently named forms. Like, we all know that if we have, like, Piccolo, um, even if they use the same physical art, right? If we had the physical Piccolo, T-U-R, and then the transformed physical Piccolo as, like, the next phase, we all sort of recognise that is now him fused with Kami, right? Because there's not a lot of differently named Piccolos in the game. But we have Demon King Piccolo, we have Piccolo Jr., we have... Well, I guess normal Piccolo. We have Piccolo fused with Nail, technically. Uh, Piccolo fused with Kami. Now we have um, Power Unleashed or Potential Unleashed Piccolo. And we have Orange Piccolo. Imagine, like, giant orange Piccolo was the final boss. That would be sick. So a legendary uh, Piccolo event, I think, would be very, very cool. And then another thing I think would be really awesome that I would love to see from this celebration, if it isn't going to be Piccolo themed, I did bring the tab up accidentally before the GT Goku event, but these guys, remember, these guys were a global first that released basically on what is technically Gohan Day, the 8th, right? So these guys released for what was basically Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day. However, back in those days, like this wasn't celebrated as a proper celebration, but this unit came out as a global first, for Goku Day, pretty much, uh, last uh, in 2019, and then came out on um, JP a little bit later. So I think it'd be pretty cool if, for a same time celebration, because we're that's what we're in the middle of doing right now, the last couple of Goku, um, Gohan, Goten Day stuff has been same time. Imagine if they gave these guys an easy A. Because we already saw from looking at the um, celebration list here that they don't exactly drop a crazy amount of stuff anymore like i'm not expecting a new premium unit but a new event like a legendary piccolo event would be pretty cool or a new really good easy a i think would be a really hype drop so if this dropped like an easy a for them and they went back to because when these guys first came out there was an argument for them being the best unit in the game um, they were kind of wonky Funnily enough, very similar to like LR Ultimate Gohard, where you kind of had to build the team around them to make up for their lack of key in the early stages. But these guys absolutely had an argument for being the best unit in the game on Global when they came out as a Global first. So I'd really like these guys to get an easy A. I really want an updated version of the family Kamehameha, like a new unit with new animations. Just have the unit be Gohard and Goten and Goku, so it has a different name. Um, I would love to see a revamped version of the family Kamehameha, but these guys getting an easy A for Goku Day, I think would be super hype. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Nothing is really given away by the missions other than some of the stages that we kind of already knew about that are going to be returning. But what would you like to see in terms of new content for this celebration? An easy A, a new, a new event? Let me know down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.